Uh, we'll jump to uh, the next speakers and the final speakers in this session. I'm happy to introduce uh, Stella, Insights and Analytics Manager at Amadeus, Spain, and Emily, Product Marketing Manager from Salesforce, Datarama in the US. They'll be speaking to how Amadeus connects teams and data into a unified, unified system of record. Thanks, guys. Great. Thank you so much. Um, I'm Emily Hoffman, and I'm the Product Marketing Manager at Salesforce, and I want to welcome everyone to our discussion today. Um, we're going to be talking about powering data-driven alignment, um, and you're going to hear from one of our amazing Trailblazer customers, Stella Antonova, who is the Insights and Analytics Manager at Amadeus, which is a travel technology company that's helping airlines, airports, hotels, um, and other big travel players in the industry to provide experience, or sorry, to provide solutions that really um, improve the travel experience. But before we get started, I just wanted to give a quick PSA to the audience that Salesforce is a tra publicly traded company. So please make any purchasing decisions based on our current suite of products and not any forward looking statements that you might hear today. And I also wanted to thank you all for being here. Um, I know this is a really busy time, but um, ICOM has been a great experience so far and uh, wanted to just say thank you for everyone who's taken the time out of their day and hope that you, you know, come away with some interesting insights from our session. So before I pass things off to Stella, I wanted to just set the scene a bit and talk about the current marketing landscape um, and how data and analytics can really help guide marketing strategy today and ultimately navigate some of the ebbs and flows that we're seeing um, in the market. And then I'll pass things off to Stella who's gonna bring this all to life um, with her own story. So why are we talking about marketing data today? Uh, it really begins with the modern marketer and their, their key goals and objectives. So a part of a marketer's role is always to be nimble, um, to be agile, especially because they're often navigating these cycles um, that of change, whether it's consumer behavior, whether it's industry changes and more. And marketers are really at the center of it all. And they're tasked with these two different uh, responsibilities. So on one hand, on the left, you can see, you know, they're the stewards of customer experience. They need to make decisions to drive really personalized engagements, um, empathy, um, and just experiences that are gonna drive that long-term brand value. And then on the other hand, you can see on the right, they're being increasingly tasked with driving uh, the bottom line growth for their company, uh, return on investment for every single activity. So as a result, marketers really need to be able to adapt quickly um, to react to these industry trends that come up. So whether we're in a period of uncertainty, you know, that could be driven by political, social, economic, or health related factors, or if we're in a period of certainty where marketers are really focused on driving that growth, um, or even somewhere down the middle on the road to recovery, marketers really need to be able to navigate these different cycles with confidence in their decision-making. So in a period of uncertainty, that might mean you know, adapting from targeting growth to focusing, focusing on efficiency across all of their time and resources. Um, and data and measurement is really the key to managing these two different mandates as it's connecting the dots between you know, every piece of content, creative message and campaign that a marketer is running. So while we know that data can you know, help marketers to navigate these challenges, we've also found that there are key challenges that marketers face when it comes to data and measurement that they need to overcome first. So we actually conducted a study earlier this year um, and found that the three main challenges were around a lack of a unified view of marketing data. Another was a lack of having those insights at their fingertips in order to make decisions. And then the third is a lack of that alignment um, and governance across all of their data, which is something that Stella is going to speak about today from her experience at Amadeus. And because of these challenges, you know, marketers are having trouble answering business critical questions um, like how they can optimize the efficiency and ROI of every dollar that they spend. You know, how can they determine what programs to keep or cut with budgets in flux, uh, which campaigns are resonating most. So what are the most relevant pieces of uh, information and messages and how are customers responding? And then finally, how can, you know, we as a marketing team be more data driven and aligned across teams to reach our goals without increasing our headcount? 
So now that we've kind of set the stage for, you know, the current data challenges and the, this dual mandate that marketers have, I'd like to pass it off to one of our valued customers who I mentioned, Stella Anatova, who is going to speak about some of these challenges that she's faced and the solutions that she's implemented to really unite business units and teams across a global scale um, and the marketing analytics strategy that Amadeus is implementing to really align desperate teams to a single source for all of their marketing. So I'll pass it off to you now, Stella. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. Um, hi, everyone. Um, so, um, I mean, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this slide because um, Emily already introduced Amadeus. Uh, Amadeus is a travel technology provider. And just a fun fact, um, thanks to Amadeus, so basically the Amadeus distribution platform uh, processes 20 bookings every single second. So that's 1.8 roughly uh, million bookings a day. And in terms of last year, uh, the Amadeus distribution platform processed over 640 million bookings and boarded over 1.9 billion uh, passengers. So basically, Amadeus is the travel provider behind the scenes. You probably haven't heard of it, but you have used the, the, the Amadeus technology uh, when you have booked your hotel or your tickets, uh, your plane ticket, etc. So uh, we are truly gl a global company with over 19,000 uh, employees around the world uh, serving customers in 190 different countries. So uh, translating this into internal, the internal organization, uh, it creates a very complex environment. So uh, we are divided in different industry segments and every industry segment has its own marketing and sales teams. So we're talking over 16 different business units, over 200 marketeers globally. And in the middle, that's where I am, heading insights and analytics in global digital marketing. And the role of our team is to support different marketing teams in the execution of their marketing plans, as well as providing them with insights for data-driven optimization and data-driven decision-making. However, doing that in a context of multiple, diff you know, multiple marketing platforms and CRMs that are not talking to each other, that was quite challenging. So that's why we came up with the end-to-end -end marketing analytics program with the sole objective of providing a 360 view of all different marketing activities and budgets and see what was the impact on the sales pipeline. There were some clear benefits of that program, such as providing a single source of truth, uh, as well as um, reducing the time for uh, manual reporting and uh, you know, creating the bridges between the different data sources. So that's where we partner with Datorama because that was the, the, the most you know, um, the, the best platform that we decided to use for marketing analytics. So moving forward, uh, these are, when I talk about creating bridges between the different data sets, uh, these are some examples of the, the data th that was included in the scope of the project. So we were talking about uh, web analytics data, email marketing data, social media, paid campaigns, uh, data from our marketing database and even webinars, which are becoming more and more relevant nowadays, given the times that we're living in um, and connecting all of that and linking it to CRM opportunities. So we wanted to see when you run an email marketing campaign, are you really generating any impact on the sales pipeline? And as you can imagine, that was there was a lot of, um, you know, with so many teams and so many different systems, there were a lot of uh, data gaps and, you know, silos where people were not really seeing the impact of their, of their work. So uh, in the next slides, uh, we can see what was the plan basically. So we had the idea and this is what I present to top management. It was a very straightforward plan. Uh, we would uh, work on a strategy in-house, uh, the data architecture, we would partner with Datorama because they're the main experts in that area. And then for the execution part, we were going to work with, uh, with an external agency. However, as you know, in life, nothing is a straight line. Nothing happens, you know, straightforward. It was more of a zigzag. It was uh, a lot of back and forth, uh, some dead ends. Uh, it was a real test of stamina, resilience and, uh, you know, agility. And I would say that for me, because back in the time 
I was the cliche one person data analytics team. So I had basically zero resources. I had a very limited marketing budget. So for me, choosing the right partners was key. And when you don't have a big marketing budget that allows you to actually hire the external team, it all comes down to individuals. So you need to find the people with the right skill set who understand your vision, who understand your challenges and are there to uh, support your project. And number two, it's very important to build a relationship of trust, which gives that, those external people the confidence for making autonomous decisions. Because if you're not, um, you know, if, if you don't have that, then it's very easy to become a bottleneck. And then uh, it's very frustrating because everything has to go through the in-house team. And, you know, by creating that relationship of trust and confidence, uh, it, it can really make things easier for you. Thank you for your time and uh, keep analyzing. Thanks, Stella. And thanks, Emily. That was very inspiring. I think uh, a powerful ambition from Amadeus enabled by, by Salesforce. Also uh, bring with me that it was a test of stamina, ambition and resilience that, that brought you here today. And I think that's, uh, that goes for many of us who are uh, practitioners in this space. So, so thank you guys. Thank you.